Under a typical London rain, the game at Selhurst Park started with City on top of the home team. Two minutes in, Gundogan crossed with his left foot, the defence cleared it, and Rodri hit it with power, first time, for a great save by goalkeeper Guaida. Shortly after, Grealish dribbled through the Palace defence and shot with his right foot from the edge of the box. The ball went just wide, next to the post, scaring the hosts. Ten minutes in, City already had 77% possession, patiently exchanging passes waiting for an opening in the defence set up by coach Patrick Vieira. However, after a strong and promising start by City, the pace of the game slowed down a bit, with not many chances for either side. Until Palace won on the attack at the 15-minute mark. Foden lost the ball in the midfield, and the home team launched a counter-attack. As served Zaha, who attempted a shot but was blocked at the right moment by Akanji. City only threatened again at the 25-minute mark. Jack Grealish, one of the most active and consistent players in the first half, combined with Bernardo Silva inside the Crystal Palace box. The defender tried to clear it, but the ball fell to the Portuguese player, who crossed towards Erling Holland. Before the number 9 could attempt a header, the Palace defence cleared the danger. At the 27th minute, the best opportunity for City came up. A beautiful offensive play and a good pass by Bernardo Silva to Nathan Ake inside the box. The number 6 passed it low, finding Holland on the 6-yard box line, but our striker shot over the bar. The fact is that the play woke up City. Shortly after, a bombardment on the Palace box. Holland crossed with his left foot, the goalkeeper saved it, and the ball bounced back towards the Norwegian striker, who collided with the defender and almost scored the first goal of the match. Around the 34th minute, the rain that fell in London began to intensify a bit more at Selhurst Park. At the 38th minute, another chance for the visitors. After a ball lifted into the box, Jack Grealish passed it to Phil Foden, on the left side of the attack. The number 47 passed the defender, found himself in a position to shoot but hesitated. In the end, he tried to assist Holland, sending the ball the opposite way of the number 9. The second half started in the same way as the first, with City trying to press the home team. With Palace cornered in their defensive half and clearly exploring counterattacks, Guardiola's team passed the ball from side to side, with the defenders increasingly moving forward, but perhaps without the necessary intensity to break the host's block. Until the 55th minute, the team had an excellent opportunity. Grealish was fouled on the edge of the box, and the referee called the foul. Foden stepped up for the free kick, hit it well, in the corner of the goal, but Guaida was alert to make the save. Realizing the need to inject fresh blood into the field, Guardiola made the first substitution at the 58th minute, replacing Phil Foden with Julian Alvarez. The change almost immediately had an effect. Bernardo Silva passed the ball to the Argentine on the edge of the box, and Alvarez beautifully turned around but his right-footed shot went over the Palace bar. With Patrick Vieira's team betting everything on counterattacks, City's defence became a bit more exposed as time went by. And at the 64th minute, Palace had their best chance of the game. A counterattack by the home team ended with Zaha passing to Gallagher, who found himself one-on-one -on -one with City goalkeeper Ederson. However, the Brazilian shot-stopper made a brilliant save to deny the hosts the opening goal. The missed chance seemed to deflate the Palace players, and City once again started to dominate possession and create chances. At the 70th minute, Bernardo Silva made a great run down the right flank and crossed the ball to Holland, who headed it towards goal, but Guaida made another fantastic save. Guardiola made his second substitution at the 75th minute, bringing on Raheem Sterling for Gabriel Jesus, and the change almost immediately paid off. Sterling received a pass from Gundogan on the left side of the box, cut inside, and curled a shot towards the far corner, but the ball went just wide of the post. And at the 76th minute, came the great opportunity of the game for Manchester City. Jack Grealish took the corner quickly and Gundogan was brought down inside the box by Elise. Penalty awarded and Holland stepped up to take it. Left foot on the ball, goalkeeper on one side, ball on the other, and another goal for the Premier League's top scorer, who reached 34 goals in the season. With this win, Manchester City reaches 61 points in the Premier League table and closes in on Arsenal, who have 63 points and currently lead the championship. The Gunners still have a match on Sunday, 12th, against Fulham, away from home. Thank you so much for watching our Manchester City News channel. We hope to have provided you with valuable insights into the club. To stay on top of all the latest news, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Until next time, stay tuned to us for the latest information on Manchester City.